everyone and welcome back to the tower it's been a long time since the last time that I've talked to you guys um, I think my last video was in June oops I think that's my longest hiatus from YouTube that I've taken since starting um, and I've definitely missed it so I'm really excited to be back again because it's a new year and obviously I do this every new year I'm like yes I'm gonna I'm gonna commit I'm gonna do YouTube and um, hopefully this year it actually sticks because um, I really enjoy it and like I said I've missed making videos a lot so here we are uh, a lot of things went on in 2017 it was a really busy year and a lot of like big changes happened I got full time at work so it took up a lot of time and then my laptop broke and that's how I normally edit so it was like okay now what um, so I'm gonna learn how to edit on Adam's uh, PC which I know nothing about PC anymore because I've been using Mac for quite a long time now so yeah that's definitely been a part of it as well but here we are uh, it's a new year and I'm excited to start everything up again and get back into making videos for you guys so seeing that I didn't really get to talk to you guys for a pretty huge chunk of 2017 I thought it would be a cool idea for my first video of 2018 and my first video back on YouTube to be about my favorite things that happened within the Disney company in 2017 because honestly it was a pretty iconic year we had beloved attractions close we had new attractions open we had announcements for new attractions and for new lands we had new movies come out we had so much happen and honestly it was a great year for the Disney company so I just want to kind of take some time and reflect on all that I loved about 2017 within Disney before we jump into 2018 so let's do it so coming in at number 10 for me was the premiere of Guardians of the Galaxy 2 which came out on May 5th of 2017 Guardians has such great humor in it it's so colorful and honestly it just keeps me so much more engaged than any of the other Marvel movies that I've watched and I love it it's great I'm a sap for baby Groot Chris Pratt is hysterical and we received one of the best lines of 2017 I'm Mary Poppins y'all Guardians of the Galaxy 2 was easily one of the best movies that Disney came out with in 2017 and possibly one of the best movies overall in 2017 so that's my number 10 pick number nine for me was the introduction of minivans at Walt Disney World minivans were announced at D23 back in July and became available exclusively to Epcot Resort guests in late July as sort of a testing phase and eventually rolled out across the property I haven't had the chance to ride in one yet but honestly they are too freaking cute and I cannot wait for my first ride in one if you don't know what minivans are it's basically lift but exclusively for Walt Disney World the people who drive the lifts are cast members so you know that you're safe and they're in adorable cars that look like Minnie Mouse they're red and white polka dots and they're super duper cute Basically, minivans can take you pretty much anywhere across Disney property, so you don't have to wait for a bus or a monorail or a watercraft or whatever the case may be. So I can't wait to use this service. I think it's an awesome idea. Number eight was the inaugural year of the Epcot International Festival of the Arts. At the Epcot International Festival of the Arts, you can enjoy food booths because Disney has realized that Disney fans are suckers for food booths at festivals. Take it from food and wine and flower and garden. You can also see live Broadway performances and take seminars on various creative passions like photography. One of my favorite things about the inaugural year of the Festival of the Arts was they had this huge mural and it was kind of like paint by numbers. You would go and they would give you a color of paint and they would tell you what numbers to paint and eventually it made the same mural that is at the entrance of Epcot of Spaceship Earth and kind of the rest of Future World North, which is obviously super emotional for me because that's where I worked on my college program and I got to help paint that mural with one of my best friends from my college program. So it was great and my favorite part of the festival by far. Number seven was the announcement of Pixar Pier at Disney California Adventure in Disneyland Resort. Pixar Pier, like a ton of the other things that I'm gonna mention in this list, was announced at D23 back in July and basically they're taking Paradise Pier, which has existed forever, and they're turning it into a Pixar themed land, which is so cool. I'm so excited. Paradise Pier was easily one of my favorite parts of my trip to Disneyland when I went a few years ago. I loved it so, so much. I think it's so iconic and so pretty. Mickey's Fun Wheel is amazing, even though it's very scary to ride. It's beautiful to look at, and the views from it are beautiful. It's just a ride of death, but that's neither here nor there. California Screamin' is becoming the Incredicoaster, and frankly, I probably shouldn't be speaking on this because I never rode California Screamin', and I'm sure as heck probably never going to ride the Incredicoaster because I don't go upside down. Not about that. 
but people love The Incredibles. There's really nothing for The Incredibles at any of the US parks. I don't even think in international parks, but what do I know? Also, they said that we're going to be getting a new Inside Out themed ride, and where do you see Inside Out anywhere in the Disney parks? Because I don't see it other than the meet and greet at Epcot. So yay Inside Out, yay Incredibles, yay things we don't have already in Disney parks. I think it's super great. I'm excited. I'm pretty hyped for Pixar Pier and I can't wait to see it the next time that I visit Disneyland. My sixth favorite thing about 2017 was finally saying goodbye to the great movie ride to make way for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. That was really hard to say. <laughs> the iconic great movie ride, which was housed in the Chinese theater, at Disney's Hollywood Studios officially closed on August 13th, 2017 to make way for this new attraction that was announced at D23 because everything was announced at D23 this year and it was great. So like, I liked Great Movie Ride. Great Movie Ride was cute. I have a lot of memories on Great Movie Ride. I wrote it the last week, it was a little sad. I know a lot of people that are sad, so if that was one of your favorites, I'm sorry. Cause you know, I also lost my favorite attraction this year and we're gonna get into that in a minute. So I, I feel you. This is going to be the first ever ride that is themed around Mickey Mouse, which is kind of crazy that it's taken us this long to do, but I'm super happy that it's coming to Walt Disney World. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. I'm very excited for the opening of Mickey's Runaway Railway, and I cannot wait to see the magic that it brings to Hollywood Studios. My fifth favorite thing that happened in 2017 at Disney was the introduction of the Bon Voyage breakfast at Trattoria Al Forno at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. You guys. I don't know if you know me, but I really like Disney princesses. Like a lot, like they're like my favorite thing in life. My two favorite princesses are Ariel, who I have loved since pretty much the day I was born, and Rapunzel, who came into my life quite a bit later but has become a staple in my life. My dog's name is Punzi and my channel's name is Tales from the Tower, in case you missed it. So literally love her. And Disney blessed me this year with a breakfast featuring both of those princesses and their princes who also happen to be my favorite princes at one of my favorite resorts. Blessed. I was so blessed by this. I finally got to have breakfast with my favorite lovely ladies back in November for my birthday. My boyfriend surprised me with it and guys it was amazing. The food was delicious. It was one of the best values like what I paid for the food that I got and the experience that we had was incredible. Um, I had a really delicious uh, steak with breakfast potatoes, it was really good, and a great mimosa, and I got to meet four of my favorite characters in Disney history. It was wonderful, I can't speak highly enough about it, and I can't wait to go back. So if you have a chance to go to the Bon Voyage breakfast at Boardwalk, do it, do it, do it, it was great. My fourth favorite thing that happened within the Walt Disney Company this year was the premiere of Happily Ever After. Actually that's a lie, not the premiere of Happily Ever After but happily ever after. <laughs> so if you know me at all, you know I love wishes. I love wishes more than anything. I made a whole video on it. It's in the cards if you wanna watch it. I really love wishes passionately. Favorite, favorite, favorite thing at any Disney park that I've been to, hands down. And it still is. Um, just wanna get that out there. Happily ever after is not better than wishes in my opinion. I know a lot of people feel that way. I'm not one of those people. If Disney had to rip wishes away from us, I'm very happy that Happily Ever After was their choice to give us as a replacement. It was a worthy replacement, but not better. I will never ever say that it's better, because it's not. Wishes is everything. But I love a lot of things about it. I think the soundtrack is great. I love that it has Mulan in it. I love that it has the lanterns. My lanterns from Celebrate the Magic are back, because I was really heartbroken over Celebrate the Magic. And so this was great to kind of replace that for me. Uh, it has one of my favorite songs, You'll Be In My Heart, in it, and that makes me get emotional every time. Um, I love the I Can Go The Distance part. I do think that that was kind of a one-up from Wishes, just that one thing, like, because I Can Go The Distance was also in Wishes, but I think this was even better and more amplified. The Pirates of the Caribbean part is so great and so epic. Um, I get so hype every time the, the Pirates theme comes on anywhere, but especially with those fireworks going off, it's really neat. Happily Ever After has wormed its way into my heart, and I love it very much. My third favorite thing that happened in 2017 was the announcement of basically a brand new Epcot. Because at D23, 
they let out a whole lot of things about what's coming to Epcot in the coming years, and it was one of the most exciting things that I've ever heard. For starters, on August 13th, we finally got to say goodbye, rest in peace, to the Universe of Energy, because the Universe of Energy was a million years old. Kind of. A Guardians of the Galaxy themed roller coaster is going in that building. We just talked about how much I like Guardians of the Galaxy, so obviously I'm hype about this. I think it's really cool, and I think Epcot needs another thrill ride. I think Epcot needs another big e-ticket ride, even if it wasn't a thrill ride. Another announcement they made for Epcot was the opening of a Ratatouille attraction in France, which is fantastic. Uh, they've had the Ratatouille attraction in Disneyland Paris for a bit now, and it's pretty popular there, I've heard. Uh, the people that I know that have ridden it said it was really cool. And one of the biggest announcements of the entire D23 presentation was the Mission Space Restaurant that's also coming to uh, Epcot, which is going to be fantastic and make you feel like you're dining in space. So I'm really excited for that too. Epcot was my home park on my college program and my favorite park growing up. And honestly, just the thought of life being brought back to that park and it being revitalized and refreshed and made shiny and new again is very exciting to me. My second favorite thing that happened within the Disney company in 2017 was the release of The Last Jedi on December 15th, which was very recent. I know um, that it's a very polarizing film. I know a lot of people didn't love it. I'm not one of those people. I thought it was great. I was on the edge of my seat for like the entire last half of the movie. Uh, there were parts where I literally couldn't breathe. I honestly loved pretty much everything about The Last Jedi and I'm so excited for episode nine. I don't know how we're gonna wait two years. If you haven't seen Last Jedi yet, please go do so. It was great and uh, definitely very close to my favorite thing about Disney in 2017, but my number one was just way too good to pass up. So, Last Jedi. My favorite thing that happened in Disney in 2017, without a doubt, was the opening of Pandora the World of Avatar at Disney's Animal Kingdom. So Pandora opened on May 27th, 2017. I was lucky enough to go to a pass holder preview of the land on May 19th. And you guys, I was blown away. I have a video all about my first experience in Pandora. Uh, the link is in the cards for that as well if you'd like to watch that. So I won't go into too much detail about my first time in Pandora in this video. But Pandora is breathtaking, you guys. Even on repeat visits, I've been several times now and I just love it so, so, so much. Flight of Passage is still my favorite ride right now. It is iconic and amazing and groundbreaking. I can't sing its praises enough. Uh, I would wait so long for that attraction in standby and getting a fast pass for that is like one of my favorite things to happen. Like whenever I happen to see one, I grab it immediately because I just have to ride that attraction as many times as possible and every time that I ride it I'm just as wowed as I was that first time. And Satuli Canteen, the quick service restaurant in Pandora, is delicious. It is one of the highest quality quick services uh, Disney has and I'm obsessed with the bowls that they have there. It's a delicious place to eat. And the Night Blossom is one of the best frozen beverages I've ever had. So there's like honestly a ton of things about Pandora to love. Not to mention just the beauty of the land itself. Those floating mountains are incredible. Pandora at night is ridiculously beautiful. I don't have words. I guess I have a lot of words because I just rambled about it for a long time. If you haven't been to Pandora or if you've been to Pandora and haven't ridden Flight of Passage, make that a 2018 goal because it's everything. And that is the conclusion of my favorite things that happened within the Walt Disney Company in 2017. In the comments, please let me know what your favorite things about Disney were in 2017. There was a lot to choose from and picking just these 10 was really difficult. So please uh, share with me in the comments what your favorites were. For more magical Disney content, hopefully every Friday, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a magical day and I'll see you real soon. Bye!